going into this, you know, a couple of the players from Fish123 maybe not happy with their performances, a little bit tilted. Obviously, we've seen Smooth change his name to Bot Dog here, so I'm not sure he's, uh, <laughs> I'm not sure he's really in the best of moves or it's just a bit of a joke. Trying to get I himself imagine up. it's probably a bit more of a joke than yeah, anything yeah, else, to be honest. Like, Smooth is just a, a nice, fun lad, but um, for the remainder of this map, we should call him Bot Dog here, uh, as per tradition of the casters. Code essentially. Right, here the we go. Pistol code, round. Yeah. Coming into effect, we've got the double flash and smoke for Astro. And uh, Mole's going to have the defuse kit for Fish 1, 2, 3. With the smoke into the default, we will go. Quite a stack coming in towards the V site, actually. They're going to go very heavy onto this one with one man pushing up aggressive. Actually, he's going to play perfectly to how Swiss Meister are going to go into this round. Dance against the first frag straight out from B long. Yeah, just one bullet right to the dome of Smear. That, and now the execute comes in. That's a fantastic flash. Forces that player into Coop. Mighty Max and Sliggy actually able to get free between them. That puts it into a three versus two. It's suddenly fallen apart for Sif Meister. Kesa coming in with the flank as well. We'll be able to find anything, but it looks like Astro is expecting it. Oh, but no kill going either way just yet. Astro does take a fair bit of damage, and it looks like Kato is just going to fall all the way back. I'm just making sure they're not going to back and rotate towards the A side, but they are just going to stick towards B. Dancy proving the point, taking down Sniggy. Mole's kind of caught between the rock and a hard place here. If someone, uh, sorry, if Astro pushes around and gets this frag, could very easily find this one against the CT player here. Keita also coming in from Connector as well. We're going up, not against it. Dancy still landing heads though. 4K for him. Taking down Mole and leaving Keita as the last man left. We'll try and take his place here from the drop down room, but the bombers rotated. It's taken the opportunity to push back and rotate into the A bomb site with Dancy still here. He expects to be and B site here, and Dancy will win out the aim draw. An ace for him, a clutch for him to finish things off as they and bring themselves a pistol round. Yeah, you can't really get a better start in a game like that. That was just fantastic from Dancy. From the first shot, you know, he's feeling that he's back on. He had a brilliant map on Mirage as well. And now Fish 1, 2, 3 on the back foot like they were most of Mirage. Now they've got to try and get back into this. They are going to force into it, saving really no expense here. Now Smear on the Deagle had a fantastic round with it earlier. Wasn't able to clutch with it, but still, you can hit those headshots. And four Mac 10s as well, interesting. You'd expect more rifle without maybe on cobblestone. Uh, uh, I don't know. It depends really on your on your mentality to the game. A lot of players just like to go straight strategy. up. Uh, yeah, your mentality and strategy to the game, you know, it, it, all, it, a lot of players I know tend to, you know, want to go for SMGs above uh, rifles early on uh, when you've got the pistol man advantage and for Stiff Meister, you know, that's a perfect opportunity to build economy, especially in the early part of that Mirage game where we saw both sides were just getting money, uh, 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 just no money whatsoever yeah. uh, throughout the, 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 the trading blows between them and Fish 1, 2, 3, so for Stiff Meister, I kind of understand where they're coming from and getting these, uh, 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 Mac 10s out. They want to build up as much cash as possible, $600 per kill, and if they can do that, then they will have absolutely no problems when it comes to the buy rounds. However, they may have some problems when it comes to this force right here. Four versus four is my nice to take down one, and what Doggy yeah, takes down Luzza. Mighty Max close range here from Matrix. Trying to see if he can take down Dancy. He will be able to do so, dropping the bomb, and that's where AK recovered. Link the last man, and he'll get finished off by the Deagle of Sliggy. That's Fish 1, 2, 3. Once again, stealing rounds away from Stiff Meister. Yeah, it looks like the war of attrition is back on as both teams maybe just going to force back here. Sif Meister looks like Astro is, and so is Dante. I'm not sure what the other uh, others are going to buy just yet. And there we go. The force is coming. Yeah, it's just going to be a force back. If Fish123 do win this round, though, it will be an eco from Stiff Meister. Link on the scout. That's surprising considering how good Dansky was on it in the previous game. Well, Stiff Meister still on their own force by most of the pistols out the scout here for Link. And a relatively deadly weapon for the likes of Stiff Meister, Dancy in particular, when he had it in his hands. And now, this one, though, yeah. just having a deagle in the hands of Dancy and Link. Just uh, creeping in and around, doing whatever he can with this scout outside of Yard. Creeping out from Long as well. Yeah. Holding out for one fish, one, two, three player to hopefully push out and re-aggress, punish that as appropriate. They really do need a trade back to a four versus four hit Stiff Meister, but so far not going to find anything. Fish, one, two, three, keeping their cards, uh, cl cards? cards very close to their chest. Yeah, it looks like it will be an A split, though. 
luckily we are able to see that we don't have to uh, try and guess what they're doing but it looks like it'd just be a four-man split two possibly going up mid two coming from a long but there is actually three players towards a from fish 23 if Kate is able to get one more that'd be fantastic if he takes down Dansky he could easily get the kill onto link as well unless links hit this shot I don't think it's likely he does hit it though and the flashes are coming out two players coming up from mid now Smoothie up nearly gets taken down the last couple of bullets and his gun takes the headshot. Link. Oh, wow. Very nice flick onto his head. Takes him out of the action. 1v3. Still for Link for the ace clutch. Spotted out by Mighty Max. And Mole has the AK in play. Let's see if shut him down from long range. The M4 from the other side as well. The crossfire is set and the bomb is in the CT control. So Link's got to make a decision. Is he going to run in for this one? Try and lock it out. Try to take some frags. He's probably not going to win the round out here. Indeed, he won't. Sliggy, first contact, shuts him out of the action, brings the second round back to the fish. One, two, three, seven. But some impressive shooting with a scout once again, you know? Just mice that seem to like landing these headshots quite often. Yeah, I don't know why. There's been a session with the scout I've seen. A few players in group stage like Dante were just on the next level with the weapon. So it's interesting to see that. Um, you know, a lot of people. Oh, no. As I've just seen Smoot at BM in the chat, he hates to see it. I'm out. It looks like Sliffmeister, <laughs> they are just going to go. For some sort of a rush here. it is going to be a full eco for them three players are actually on zero kills for them right now kata and smuya combining for three kills unfortunately loza does take down smuya picks up an ak as well could easily find the kill on kata who's only five hp whatever that is going to happen is yet to be seen 1v4 situation for loza might be able to find kata but oh i was going to say my match creeping around he may have actually taken down his own teammate but eventually <laughs> Crossfires alongside Keita to get two kills apiece for those three players and three to one scoreline for Fish123. Sniff my stuff have themselves the buy up now. The AK is coming out to play. No AWP potential, unfortunately, but not a problem. They've got utility, they got head armor, they got Kevlar. And the Fish123 can't really deal with that head armor too effectively. They've got Smooth up with the uh, AK, save from that last round, I do believe. I imagine it must have been from someone, at least from the CT side. Might have traded with Keita, but yeah. You know, Details basically, he's gonna play very aggressive actually. He may be able to catch off one of these guys. Oh, Laza, caught off guard, back <laughs> turned. He is gonna be furious with that. You're damn right about that because that is Stiffmeister conceding the first frag to fish one, two, three. Yeah, a smoke and a Molotov towards the B long, and that could be a double spray down for Frederick. And they're actually gonna go towards B off that. Mighty Max does get the kill eventually, and it looks like CX are just gonna commit to this B site now. Waiting to see if they can find any more kills to get into the site. Link's been dropped to low HP. Dansky trying to throw a smoker to the site so they can cross. Mighty Max is jumping up though. Does take that kill. Will he check over here? The flash not going to blind. I believe it was Link, but Asher's going to get taken down anyway. And that's four to one. Fish one, two, three. Trying to come out swinging here on Cobblestone. Yeah, Mighty Max taking point there. Trying to not only defend, but also push Stiff Meister back. That's yeah. very, very good, actually. Very nice taking initiative from him. He pushed up aggressive, got that first pick, snuck around the other side. They knew that it was one up towards Matrix, because that's just, you know, a basic strat from the T side. And uh, Smuya from the backhand side, that was Chicken Coop, covered off that particular angle, and allowed Mighty Max cover to sneak around and get that second frag on the map that was holding outside a tree. So, very, very good stuff from Fish in terms of SCT teamwork and defensive. And they're going to be able to hold up against an eco around. Super, super easy for them. Dancing gets one frag. Two versus four situation for him and Astro. Dante trying to get Sliggy. The bomb's actually getting blood as well. Oh yeah, that's very good actually. Stiff Meister getting extra money as well, but shouldn't be able to outlast against the rifles here for the CT side. They will get picked apart eventually. The defuse will come through, but Stiff Meister on Nico. I think that's still a very good result. Yeah, and that's but that's exactly what you want on the Nico. You just want to try and get the bomb down. You know, getting one kill as well helps. But still, there was so many nades going into plat that it was nearly impossible for most of them to survive that. But still, fish one, two, three. They fend off the eco, do let the bomb go down, so they may be a bit, you know, a bit upset about that, but I won't get to them too much. And the double orb on the T side of Cobble coming out from Sifmeister. I'll admit, mate, I don't know why. Um, I guess you could go for a pick on B long and then maybe hold A long. I, 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 I don't know. You no, know, here's the thing, right? Cobble is a map is one that is extremely difficult to play AWP play um, because it is so um, uh, suppressed almost. You know, like you've got like so many close quarters angles really. There are only yeah. two positions that you can take long range duels and that being A mid and B long, you know. Um, maybe A long to a certain, to a, a, yeah, a, 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 a greater or lesser extent, you know, but 
Double up setup already doesn't work for a T side, right? On a map like in uh, Cobblestone, I don't know if it really works that much at all, to be honest. You know, the AWP is only really good for one position to try and take that early frag or try and support your uh, players uh, moving in towards the site um, when you're open out on B or A. But you know, in this particular case, when they're trying to play a default, they're trying to find the first frag on Fish123. You know, they've already failed with the rifles initially, but Laza trying to get that opening frag and only legging smoother. And that's already bad value out of the AWP, and you've got two of them in play. And with the mobility issue that comes when you're uh, uh, using an AWP and running around with it, the fact that you've got to try and switch out to your knife or your pistol and run with that to get into position, it does make it quite difficult for Stiffmeister to run a double-op setup in this con particular context. Yeah, no, I mean, you're absolutely right. And I, to be fair, if you're going to go up against Smooja anyway, the likelihood is you're going to be one of you going down anyway. Unless you're double peeping with the AWP, I still think just going four rifles, even five rifles on Cobblestone is viable. You don't necessarily need an AWP on this map on the T side. It's a nice shot from Smooja. But Dansky gets one back. Mighty Max is trying to tap away on towards the plat as well. He does actually make his way around. He's probably going to find one. Checks the close angle, takes two. He's full blind, but so is everyone else. Smooja eventually gets taken down by the time. They don't realise where Mighty Max is. Oh and this could God. be your 4K still... Round over, Fish123, 6-1. to one. Stiff Meister's T-side is not very pretty. No. Let's put it that way, right? Yeah. They, very, very clearly, they have some issues, just uh, the way that they sort of constructed the B-side. The fact that Mighty Max was able to get a kill on the site itself and still rotate back around and get another kill and hold in corner and get another kill. Almost four kills in total. Yeah, you know? communication's just not great. Yeah, communication's not great from Stiff Meister. They don't really know where they're checking. They don't really know what they're doing. Um, so... Honestly, I, I I'm not really sure what to make of this of this T side. I'm not sure how much this fighter really have to play with right here. They're gonna go for a force play. They're gonna get one AK out of the situation by taking out Keita, who already took Dancy back to a four versus four. So. Stiff Bice are just kind of back in the default, hoping to catch some CT aggression. But Fish One Two Three are holding solid so far on Cobblestone. Yeah. Land God Smooth's now out. Bot Doggyer, he's left the server. Land God Smooth, he's made his way in. You love to see it. He love to see it. He's eight and five currently. Who's that? Eleven and two. Mighty Max. Mighty Max. Well, we said he needed to step up yeah. in the last map. That's uh, what exactly what we were saying, and he's yeah. done. I'm, I'm really happy to see that actually. Now that Fish One Two Three have that man in play, and you can see the difference already. Six to one is the scoreline. Obviously, Stiff Meister haven't had much of a chance to get started, but if they keep going like this, they never will. So. These AKs kind of need to put something into play in this next B-site push. Here we go, but Mighty Max already peeking, dropping the bomb, swinging around for the second, alongside Sliggy, backing him up, looking for this 3K. Mighty Max wants it. Luz has been spotted, does take down Sliggy, but that is all he's going to find. 3K for Mighty Max, stepping up huge. Fish 1, 2, 3, on point, 7 one to score. Yeah, there's three players now stepping up for this team. Eight kills on Smooja, eight kills on Sliggy. 14 kills currently on Mighty Max. Just fantastic. You really can't get much better than that. And now, as it goes 7-1, to one, it will be another by the max loss bonus. Obviously, coming out, unfortunately, Frederick is forced off the AK onto a Galil with not even much utility. He wasn't sacrificing anything. He just could not afford that AK. And it looks like they are going to try and switch up from going towards B site and see if they can make some entries towards A. The problem is there's always a, there's always a wild land god smooth waiting around the corner for you. Yeah, up, out, trying to watch out this uh, particular position again. To a greater or lesser extent, the AWP good in this particular position on A long. But, more than whether he hits that first shot. Minute and 20 still left. Stiff Meister have already lost the opening jewels. They haven't lost a man per se, but they have lost a lot of HP. 53 on Astro and 79 on Link. We'll put them at a bit of a disadvantage when it comes to the entries. Laza are still going to try and force the issue. Spots out Mighty Max, but can't quite get the Frankie backs off and eventually Keita and Mighty, uh, sorry, uh, uh, Dancy and Astro combined to take out Keita and Mighty Max. Smoogia will still pick up Dancy, 4 versus 3 situation now, 3 versus 3 with Mole highway on through, and he gets himself 2 frags, super, super easy right there. The T side getting thinned out as they make their way up to the half wall, and they still haven't broken out like it. Orp of Smoogia, back of sight, 2k for him, Link is the last man of 1 versus 3. Yep, there's a couple. Well, there's actually one HP player here, and that was Mole, but he just took his head off there. That was actually fantastic. There's three people on A there, and only Smoogia got a kill. I was, about, I was going to talk about that. I thought, well, maybe Stiff Meister would take this, but that's fantastic. Mole, you know, someone else we said needed to step up from the last map. He's now on 7-3, to three, and I don't think there's any way they're going to stop this Fish 1-2-3 team at this rate. It just seemed like an impossible defence. Yeah, and we take a look at the numbers, you know, not, not everyone's stepping up for Fish 1, 2, 3, but when you take a look at the numbers they're posting compared to Stiffmeister, you know, that's just yeah. not a good sight at the moment here for the T's. 
like struggling as fish one, two, three. Mighty Max gonna get the first fry, but once again, Moles there to support, gets himself two, doesn't quite finish the job, but actually, Loz is gonna turn around for the 180. Two kills for him, suddenly Keat is the last man left, and the bomb can rotate very easily to the B side. I think they know that he's here. They're just waiting for the opportunity to represent itself. Smokes will go down. Oh, actually, Keita pops back into his drop-down room. Shuts down Loza. Now knows where the bomb is and will rotate and try and cover it off. One versus one. 2k clutch for the winner of this one. Astro covered by Smoke, not spotted by Keita. He is going to turn towards his general direction. I think he was called out from one of his teammates. But Astro is going to spot him first and take his head off his shoulders to finally bring the second round for Stiffmaster after a very grueling eight-round streak from Fish. Yeah, that was just a bit sloppy, I think. They, sh they were both in drop, and I think Mighty Max... Uh, Mighty Max, I want to say... I think it was Marwin dropped together, but Mighty Max had used his Molotov already on towards B long, so there was no way he could have stopped that drop rush. And I think they're just getting a little bit too complacent. Maybe that'll shake them up a little bit and put them back into fashion. Definitely should have been around for Fish 1, 2, 3, but Stiffmeister maybe can get a, on a roll now. And double up start coming out from Fish 1, 2, 3 as well. Quite a heavy investment. I see a Snooya and Sliggy. Can put it to good use. Smear out towards the long. Also backing up Keita with the M4, but he's got plenty of kills lining up for him. He's going to connect all three with Smear coming in. That's an all shot on the fourth, and they may be able to clean sleep their way out of this out of this round. King Frederick, last man left, catches off Mighty Max. Smear actually preemptively fires, but second face will be King Fred's last. Well. That's, that's a reset that's, on Stiffmeister. And that's all. how you shut that down, isn't it? Yeah. Just uh, absolutely massive from Keita. I mean, they just lined up. Their positioning there was not great. It just seems like they're a bit messed up on uh, Cobblestone. They just really have no idea. Um, I'm not sure if Smooth's talking to me or someone else. <laughs> he senses you on the uh, microphone right now. Yeah. I imagine so. He knows I'm casting. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Smooth. Yeah. Hi, Mum. <laughs> Full spy from Stiff Meister. This ain't gonna go well. Astro does get two frags at least, three versus three, but low HP, the retake incoming from the CT side. And at the very least, they forced them out the B site, which yeah. is something, all right. And double orb retake as well, with CZs at close range. Oh, nothing for Smooth, though. Let's see what you can do with it. 3v3, fish 1, 2, 3, creeping up, key up. Making point, making noise. <gasps> no way, Link not going down. Keat is still spraying on through spots, and eventually the third face will take him down with Sluggy, uh, Sliggy coming and taking out Loza. It's all down to Astro. 8 HP and an ace for the dream. Maybe able to take down Keat with a very release. Turns his way onto Mighty Max, but, sorry, uh, Mighty Slug, but the USP will be enough to shut him down. A 10th round on the board for Fish 1, 2, 3, and the double lock retake. Actually does work for Fish 1, 2, 3. Yeah, I mean, that was excellent. Keita needed to get that kill door. Starts spamming and it forces Link into a position that he's not comfortable with. And he just takes him down. And then, I mean, if he got, if Sliggy got the kill on B-Long as well, the AWP finishes it off with USP as well. 10 to 2, Fish 1, 2, 3. On this, at this point, are just on for like a 13-2 probably. More than likely at this point, Stiffmeister are struggling on this T side. Remember, they had a very, very good map on Mirage. Could put Fish 1, 2, 3 back in the running of the series. Uh, map number 3 here. Double up set up back in play from the land god Smoot. He's playing. What's playing actually was for A set. He's going to go back and support Fish 1, 2, 3 on this B set, which is great because they can look at where Mole's playing from. He's got all the information and realizes that there is no rotation coming in from Stiff Meister. They're not going to go down drop. I think Fish 1, 2, 3 have a good read on what this T side are willing to do. And going through drop to rotate through A is not something that's in the playbook. Smoothie will still get caught off guard by Dancy at first. Keita still there to back him up. And they haven't called out his position. He's still going to take himself a second. Not quite the third, but backed up by Mighty Max and Sliggy. Means that the invention is just going to come down to King Frederick for a one versus four situation. Bomb out in the open. CT's had the crossfire lock. This is 11. With fish 1, 2, 3. Yeah, Smoo needs to be careful not to die here. Doesn't need to give himself away. No point in giving an extra kill to them. And Frederick just tries to jump out, maybe even get a knife on Smoo. Not to happen. No, it goes 11 to 2. Fish 1, 2, 3. Just an endless amount of pain go going towards Stiff Meister. Doesn't seem like there's any stop to it. Mighty Max 19 to 6. I don't, I'm not even sure he got 19 kills in the last map, the entirety of it. And uh, Smoo has now upgraded from <laughs> land god smoo just to uh cobble god not sure if that's an upgrade because you know you're saying oh yeah i'm only good at cobblestone you know all right so we'll say he's downgraded to uh cobble god then <laughs> <laughs> i 
I don't think he'll be happy to hear that, but um, it should be just another B rush from Stiff. What on earth is this? See, this is just the confidence of Fish 1, 2, 3 now. They've got one player pushed up close on the smoke. Mole could potentially line up three, four, five frags, potentially. In fact, that's exactly what he's going to be doing right here. They're not checking it! These guys have so many gaps. He gets one before Luzza does deal with him. So a man of artist for Stiffmeister, at least for the moment, but already we've got Smooya peeking up, looking on the AWP <laughs> shot for the second close at the fountain. Back to Fish 123's favor, make it two, and make it a three man advantage for this CT side. Mighty Max and Smooya are going ham here on Cobblestone. He has 21 kills before the half has ended. <laughs> I don't know. What I love it because I, I, I can't see it on stream. But you literally at the end of that round when Mighty Max got that shot, you just like head how just how did face it, palm so hard. Why? If I was in that game, <laughs> <laughs> Smear, uh, we'll uh, we'll say has changed his name. He hasn't upgraded or downgraded. He's now the three versus four god apparently. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> this match is a meme. <laughs> Stiff Meister. Going in, Mighty Max already two more frags. Is it going to be possible? No, he can't be. He can't not not mathematically possible. The 30 bomb He's in, gonna get in an the ace. half. He's going to get the ace though. So he gets as close as he can to 30 bombing before the end of the half. 26 frags to six. Mighty Max is on fire, and Smuya is a little bit far behind him, but it doesn't matter because <laughs> Fish One Two Three are still winning 13 to two. Yeah, it literally doesn't matter when you've got 26 kills and a half. It's 13 to two. I don't think it matters that Smear is 12 kills behind. You know, this is what we needed to see from Mighty Max. Like, for this to happen. Dance is going to GG. Hey, Love don't it. count yourself out. Don't count yourself out. Love it, mate. Not looking likely at the moment, but hey, nothing. Uh, you never know. You never know. That's all I say. And it looks like it is going to be some sort of drop push, a flash possibly going into drop from Keita. He actually dropped the uh, PK-50 to Smooya and Sliggy, so they've got the uh, raid boss set up, double raid boss set up for Fish 1, 2, 3, which is actually a uh, very, very interesting time for this T-side. Pushed up, they've got one man already in control for that particular position. Of course, drop down as you were expecting. One man pushing out into the yard. King Frederick close. Does spot Smooya, does take him down. So that's a man of Vitus Stiffmeister already taking out one smooth. of the raid bosses. Yeah. I didn't even notice he changed his name back. <laughs> For yeah. He's, he's, he's just Smooya again. Just Smooya. Just regular old Smooya. <laughs> which is actually not even saying that much. 60 seconds left to go. Stiffmeister. In the man advantage for Kevlar across the board. No defuse cuts here. Fish 1, 2, 3, do break through this line. It's going to be a difficult retake for the CT side. Yeah. Kata really needs to use that flash. Stiffmeister. They've actually got a fantastic setup. I'm not sure going to check Luzza. That is a great shot from Sliggy. Oh, is he oh. actually going to... Oh, he gets one, but no one knows where he is. No one's turning. What they have the hell? Luzza! How did they let that go? He shot twice before any... No one saw where he was. I... I... Yeah. That just happened. <laughs> I, it's a great thing, right? Fish123 literally played that exact same thing against Stiffmeister on their CT side, right? And they just fell for it. It's not like he had a USP. Pistol. He had a P2K. A P2K <laughs> landing heads for days. Oh, that's a highlight of the weekend <laughs> so far, at least, for Stiffmeister. Three SMGs in play as they try and claw back some rounds against Fish123. They've got a long way to go. Maybe this is the start of the comeback here. We saw it in map one. Maybe Stiffmeister can make it happen in map two. Yeah, it's possible. Um, unlike you, though, considering these form of these players and uh, Fish 1, 2, 3. It honestly would not surprise me at this point if Mighty Max is there to drop the 30 bomb before this game is over. Oh, and that's going to be a kill for Mighty Max. He's clawing his way up towards 29. it. 29! <laughs> 29 frags. Oh, 27, actually. Scratch that, never mind. I'm being an idiot, but either way. CT's are shutting it down from the other side. Astro getting the up. They actually got two and drop on Cater as well. I think they both dropped and he just the MP9 just ruined them. Not very other than. And I've since the uh, Stiffmeister. Not going to be complaining either way, but Fish 1, 2, 3. My Max actually going to get caught off guard by Loza. Also Another going aggressive <laughs> once again. They didn't check it. And Astro 
And good dink on one man, but unable to finish the job of the CT side. They have got them suppressed here from Matrix, and Frederick will get that next flag, so it's all down to Sliggy. 1v3. He gets a 1v at it. least. That's about as far as he'll go with the fourth on the board for the CT side. Yeah, still a fair amount of damage done on the fourth fight. But Stiffmeister needs to try and build it up before they get into that first gun round now. Need to try so and that's real funny, I don't know why, but our ADR counter, our stat counter says it's e that uh, Magnax has had 29 kills. Yeah, it, sometimes it just glitches out. Versus the scoreboard that says 27. I don't understand. It's because sometimes it includes warm-up kills by accident and stuff like that. Oh, that's stupid. Yeah, it's not, it's... Valve, please fix. Come on, guys. <laughs> Alright, push one, two, three. Eco, not much they can do. Deagles, PT-50s, maybe some headshots if they can get out close and personal against the Meister. They're dropping into Drop King. Frederick's got the first and the second, dropping the bomb and everything. Good things coming in from the T side, but that's about as far as they'll go here. That's against himself too. Looking for Smoothie up. <laughs> And just as good with that PG-50 as he was in the pistol round. Stiff my start on five. Fish one, two, three. Still leading the way, and they've got a rough round to play with. Yeah, you're right. They are leading the way, and by quite a large margin right now. A lot of rounds to climb back for Stiff Meister right now. He's going to be a UMP from Mighty Max. I'm surprised he was the one who sacrificed for a UMP. I'd want him on that AK. I want him going out first, getting all the kills. But uh, I guess, you know, someone has to do it. Make sure they get enough smokes, maybe do a full... Smoke execute onto B, A, take drop control, whatever they want to do. It's a smart move to just sacrifice one gump. Now, it's a very heavy A setup from the Sif Meister side. The Kia could fall for a hook line and sink and a sliggy. Also, they're pushing up from long and mid. Both of the T side players. Whatever they can, I think. Spots out Kia, does take him down. Just to give it a quick trade back to a 4 versus 4, however. That's only so much presence. And from Fish123. They do have a decent amount of presence in mid, however. Smooth has pushed up all the way to the half wall. So, Stiff Meister better be careful about this dance. He's not expecting it. Eventually, he does look to that particular direction, and Smooth will take him down for it, cutting off support to Astro. He could be in a good flanking position, but he gives it away. The bomb is allowed to cross. Not quite. Actually, Astro denies it, and with 60 seconds left, this could still be very, very good. Smooth are peeking up, shuts down one, as well as that mole gets down Astro. It's all up to Laza. 1v3 situation. Yeah, that was a fantastic shot by Smoothie there. Oh, Luz actually makes his way through the door, but Smoothie's going to close it out. He's been as well. 14 to 5. And um, Fish 1, 2, 3. They make sure that this is going to go to a third map. They're hunted. You know, they're not letting this go. They're making sure they came out swinging. They're not going to let the comeback happen. They're going to close it out 16 5, or at least try to, to make sure that they uh, crush the spirits of Sif Meister. Can I get close to it? Take a look at the buyout for Sif Meister. Orb out on one, M4 on another, UMP on the third, but two pistols out for Dancy and King Frederick, which just isn't really a, uh, a very nice score, a nice uh, buyout to have here if you're on the CT side. They will make the best of it though. Sees a kill on King Frederick, dink down on Sliggy as well. Sliggy will eventually be, eventually, uh, blah, blah, blah. eventually be able to peek out and take that one. Keita also looking in to try and shut down Asher. He can't quite get there in time though. Four versus four situation. And Stiff Meister do have a slap towards B to try and hold this down. It's not Luzzer rotating, not just yet. That AWP could be good to have here on the B side. The offensive from Fish123 looks set to go. They win this one. I mean, it's probably the game win right there for Fish. So let's see what they can do. Dancy flicks Deagle, takes a second shot on Mole and wins it out. Astro also picking up Sliggy. So Stiff Meister are holding a decent fight with Link taking out Kita as well. This could be the reset against them and Smoothie, the AWP, backed up here towards Matrix. Loza will rotate, and sure he cannot rotate away. He's just kind of suppressed here on all angles. Can't do much from his position, looking in and around all over the place with this AWP. Looking out Fountain, Astro's below him. Does spot him. Oh, no scope. Takes him out. First man down. But can he find Link? If he clutches this out, this will be a very crushing defeat for Stiffmeister. He's actually made the jump to tree as well. Can't get a quick scope, unfortunately, though. 29 HP. USP for Link. And Smoothie up making a lot of noise. Luzzer knows where he is, and he's going to cover this off. Ooh, Smoothie up. Pulling a fake. 10 seconds. Has to go for the plant now. The smoke doesn't quite land where he wants it to, and he'll get up close to personal with Link. Five seconds. Ring a ring a rosy. <laughs> they bait him in. That was perfectly played from Stiffmeister. 
as they just about hold on to their sixth and just about hold on to the reset round for Fish. One, two, three. Yeah, it gives more time for Mighty Max to try and get that 30 bomb anyway. That's 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 what they're doing, you know. Just throwing a, just throwing away a round to Mighty They're actually going to force it. I suppose they have rounds to play with. Why not, you know, try and get these CZs up close and personal. There's actually an XM from Astro and MP9 on Frederick the double AWP as well. If they're able to take the site, you know, that could be influential. Maybe get the AWP on this move if they can. Oh, no. That happens. To, oh, poor Kata. And now, we just wait and see will happen here. That is a nice kill from Smooya as he'd made his way into Connector actually. He's got the XM picked up now and Link takes down Smooya through the smoke. Sliggy in Connector. Gonna get taken down by Luzza with the AWP. Oh, Dansky, he tries to throw the AWP away. Oh actually, gosh. that's actually a very good play right there because it kind of denies the opportunity for Mole to pick that one up and actually opens up a great opportunity for Link to just to take that single yeah, flag. That pick up the AWP after it's done. So, very nicely played from Dansky, very quick on it. So, uh, seven rounds on the ball for Stiffmeister. I actually can't complain about that at all. No, that was absolutely, that was really smart. I didn't realise that Link was there. I thought he was just, all, uh, just throwing it away because he knew he was going to die, but he saw that Link was there and that Link could get the two kills that they have to run out and get the AWP. You know, it's just a really smart play from Dansky. He knows that he gets the AWP away from them, and that's what happens. It's going to be a flash onto Mole, and it looks like maybe just a straight up B rush. Yeah, fish one, two, three on the eco. Bomb plant would be nice. Money would be, well, a round would be even better, but we'll find out. Whether they will be able to do so. 14 to 7. Steph Meister back on the comeback to try and close this out into it. Will be the spray coming in from Astro. Can't only get one. The King Frederick is good for two. And it's now just Sliggy's last man left. Taking shots. Good. Yeah, dink on Lodger. And not much more than that will be found. But a fish one, two, three. It's side. 14 to 8. Now to the favor of the T's. And Steph Meister have really ramped up this aggression to try and bring the comeback. Three for three rounds. Would be nice to deny Fish that uh, match point, so to win this next one would be great. And I kind of need to win everyone from here on out, I believe. Yeah, this is our dream. Yeah, I mean, this is odd though. Sliggy has. I'm sure I saw him drop it over to Smooya, then Smooya must have dropped it. Maybe something to do with spawns or something like that, anyway. But, you know, you'd want Smooya on, uh, on this map, you know, Epsilon. They're very. That's. Ooh. Well, maybe. I spoke a little bit too soon. Sliggy just going for that pick, finds it as well. But Smoother on Cobblestone has been a fantastic opera. It's a really good map for Epsilon as a team as well. And that may be why Kata gets that kill into Dansky. And we could be looking at a match point or a map point, I should say. Sliggy just trying to spam it. I think they are going to swap away the AWP to Smoother now. Yeah, I imagine that probably that was a good spawn right there for yeah. Sliggy just to go down towards B long. That's exactly what he was holding. He was waiting for that first pick, got the first man. A great start from Fish. Even better follow up from the likes of Keita here in A site. He will also get the double kill. Link down and Astro and King Frederick. Well, what do you do here from this point? 60 seconds left to try and retake. Deny that bomb plant before it happens. And I don't think they'll have the opportunity to do so. The smokes go down. Does leave a bit of a gap here from Connector. But, uh, you know, smoke on the balcony as well. Both players held up in Connector. With a backstab potential to come through from Mole. I don't imagine that Astro and King Frederick will be able to make this work. I think this is going to be a 15th here for Fish. They'll still go for it. The crossfire's locked, however. And Mighty Max and Mighty Slug take the 15th for Fish. Yep, looks like it may be a 16 to 8. The buy not going to be great here. But you know, nah. Steph Mines, they've done better on worse. Looks like it's just going to be a CZ and maybe a pistol for Luzza as well. It's going to be two CZs and AWP. An M4 and a UMP, a very mixed bag of uh, weaponry there. And now, fish one, two, three. Looks like they are going to go for s into some sort of default to outside A and then three towards the B area. Yeah, 1 minute 40 left on the clock in the early part of the fish one, two, three. They're going to a very passive style of default. They have got that long control of B. Outside of that, they're just waiting and trying to bait a pick from a Stiffmeister. Try and bait out a good shot to shut them down. There's lots of time still left to go on the clock right here for Fish123. So they can take all this time. They can try to see if they can get the opening frag of, of the bases, the overextension, and the mistakes really from the CT side. If they overaggress, then they will get shot down for it. The last 60 seconds is coming into fruition. So Fish do need to decide on where they want to go. Bombs out to Dragon Room. So, you know, it could go to either one at this point. Anyone can pick up the bomb and rotate to the other side of the site. As meanwhile, aggression will come through out towards this. <laughs> Do you know what? Jump shots don't usually work outside of Call of Duty, but I'll give Astro credit for that one. Just jumping around the corner, 
picking up the frag, picking up the AK, and bringing the man advantage to Stiffmeister. Yeah, looks like Stiffmeister off that kill and drop have decided to rotate more players towards A. I think just one, maybe. Oh, Sliggy. That Ooh. is an easy kill for him. I don't really know what Luz is actually trying to do in that situation. Maybe try and jump spot over the box. But now they will be able to make it into the site, surely, unless there is someone there to stop them. A hero, maybe. Try and do a help out this team. There is a smoke available for Keita if he wants to oh. smoke the site. No, that is not a good plant. There's no one covering. That's fantastic from Stiffmeister. I believe they flashed these players onto Platt. But Keita and Smoother bringing it into a three versus two. Frederick turns that around, though, and the bomb needs to go down quickly. Retake up. King Frederick can't get there in time. That's all up to Keita now. 1v2 situation to bring Fish 1, 2, 3 to the map. Victory, two kills, four and flash out on one side. King Frederick needs this frag, needs the 4k clutches. He's going to stick to the fuse and Keith has no idea. He's got one angle to peek from and Frederick will win out the 4k for the ninth round for Steph Meister. Resetting Fish one more time. But the money's still good for Fish and well, I can't say the same for Steph Meister. Yeah, to, it is a bit of an awkward time, all, all honesty here for Stiffmeister. Fish 1, 2, 3 with a full buy back. If they lose this next one, they will be fully reset in that one. Last bonus is now down and out of the equation for the T-Sun. Stiffmeister need to ring this comeback in, and they cannot lose a single round from here on out. Yeah, there's going to be no more mistakes. It's got to be everyone uh, hitting on all cylinders. Plenty of utility available for Fish 1, 2, 3. Smoother on the AWP as well, which is exactly where you want him to be. A two-man, a long setup from Sifmeister may be outdone uh, if Fish123 decide to come up somewhere like Danger and completely outplay the setup towards A. Good shot from Smoothie to kick things off straight in from Danger, shutting down Luz up. And Stiffmeister scramble to try and set something up from Fish123, but it's just not happening at all. A minute and ten left. No presence here on a King Fred does take them one. Oh, what the hell was that? Connection the spray on Keita's head through two walls. Sliggy and Mighty Max would still pick it back to a three versus two. And Stiffmeister are down by one, but they have bomb control. Fish now need to force the issue away, but 45 seconds. Can they make it happen quick enough? And Sliggy picking up. Bomb out in the open. It's easy to the crossfire locked as utility pours on through Astro. Back from balcony. Gonna try and deny this bomb cross if possible. As Sliggy peeks up. 30 seconds still remain in the corner of one. Is Astro the takedown Sliggy? Mighty Max has got to clutch this one out. Back of barrels is one to the other side. Is the other. He gets the headshot looking for Astro, but he can't connect the frag. Now it's just Mole alone picking up the bomb. AWP in his hands and gonna land a single oh. thing against Astro. That is how you end the map and you bring us to map number three. Fish 1, 2, 3, 16, 9. Some very good play at the end from all the players of the